So we have a function f, and it's defined from the set of non-zero reals. That's what this symbol means, r star, into the set of non-zero reals by f of x equals 1 over x. And we're going to prove that f is on 2. In other words, f is a surjection. So recall the definition of a surjective function. We say that a function f from a into b is onto or, surject or surjective if for all, so the upside down a means for all, little b in capital B, we can find some little a in capital A. So there exists, that's what this symbol means, a little a in capital A, such that f of little a is equal to capital B. So it is extremely important to carefully, carefully, carefully use this definition uh, whenever you're using a doing a surjectivity proof. In fact, if you're ever stuck, it's probably because um, you're not using this correctly. So let's go through it very, very slowly. So proof. So actually, before we do the proof, we actually have to figure it out. So um, let's do that. So to figure out the proof, we basically have to work backwards. So scratch work. So we have to start with f of a equal to b. So we have to figure out what is a. So f of a is simply 1 over a. And b is just b. So again, for all b and b, we have to find an a. So we set f of a equal to b. That's what it says in the definition. And so f of a is 1 over a, and that's equal to b. So I guess to solve for a, we can multiply both sides by a. So we get 1 equals ba. And then we divide by b. So we get a equals 1 over b. So for all little b in capital B, we find our a. Notice that this does make sense because b is not 0. So now let's apply this to our actual proof. So for our actual proof, we'll start by saying take any b in r star. So this is our this is our capital B. Okay, that's this part here. And we know what a is going to be. We know it's going to be 1 over b because we figured it out. So then b it's not is not 0 because it's in r star. So a equals 1 over b makes sense. We can actually write it down. And it's also non-zero, and it's in r star. And this time we're talking about this r star, right, a. So this is your, this is your b. This is your, your a. So we took a little b in capital B. We showed the existence of little a in capital A. So now we just have to verify that this equation holds. So then f of little a, well, what is that? That's just 1 over a. So now we use our definition of a. It's 1 over, well, a is 1 over b. So it's 1 over 1 over b. Well, division is multiplication by the reciprocal. So it's 1 times b over 1, so it's equal to b. So we started with any little b in capital B. We showed that little a belongs in capital A, and then we showed that f of a equals little b. So we satisfied the definition of what it means for a function to be onto. So thus f is onto. And that's it. Good luck.